I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished up this 1960 Kanabi and it turned out great. I think this is a really, really good buy on this piano. It's a six foot and 1960. That's not terribly old. We did a full refinishing on it and I think it's gorgeous. We we're choosing the color. We weren't sure what color to, to redo it in. And I think this veneer is really pretty. So I wanted to do it as light as possible. I don't think we did any stain on it at all. It's just a lacquer finish and that showcases that beautiful veneer really, really nicely, I think. So cosmetically, it should be an A plus. Not bad for 1960. And you can see like stuff like this that also cosmetically, I think just looks super classy. And the, the petals and the casters, I think look great. Okay, then on the guts, what we did is a full refurbish to get the uh, piano to function as well as it possibly can. All of the components are original to 1960, but they're, but they're in really good condition. And no question, they have decades of, of good use left in them. So for example, what we did when we, when we refurbished, what I'm referring to, there's a lot of components to that. A lot of, uh, um, what would you say? It's a long list that we put this, these pianos through. One of them, though, is to reshape the hammer. So, so from decades of, of pounding on that string, it, uh, it causes cuts in the, the hammers to form, and, and the grooves just get deeper and deeper and deeper year after year. So reshaping them back to the proper rounded shape so they're, they're, not, too, they're not flat, they're not, they're not uh, too rounded, they're not, they're not pointy. You want just the right kind of egg shape for, for those hammers. And then going through and, uh, and then, well, I just kind of, I didn't mention that we clean it, of course. Every piano older than as much, you know, 10 years old is super, super dirty on the inside. And we have a, we have a very, very thorough cleaning process. So this is immaculately clean on the inside. Then we go through and, and tighten everything up and lubricate, realign everything and travel the hammers, repin a lot of the hammers if, they're, if, if they have issues with, with either the pinning being too tight or too loose, and leveling the keys, uh, regulation of the dip, ensuring the distance you can depress the key is correct, and, and then about a dozen different regulation steps to make the, make the uh, action function as well as it possibly can, and we can get it really close. The goal on this refurbishing is to make it function as close to brand new as we can. Pianos are not like wine. They do not get better with age. They get worse with age. They're more like basically everything else that just deteriorates. So, uh, so what we do is, is, uh, is very thorough and, and the goal is to, to bring it back as close to brand new as we possibly can. And we're very good at what we do. We've done this on literally thousands of pianos, and we know what we're doing. And uh, the results are um, very evident. So um, let's check it out. Let's listen. Nice resonance and six foot. That's a that's a good size so big that it's going to monopolize the living room, but not so small that, it's, that it lacks power. This piano does not lack power. Not at all.
sounding piano. Touch is great. I feel like I can really manipulate it, get it to do what I want it to do. Pedals feel great. Everything is nice and firm and uh, working just as it's supposed to. And for sure, no question, this piano will continue to operate at this level for a long, long time. I think this piano has literally decades of, of life left in, in it. And price-wise, we are super, super reasonable. I think this is an excellent buy. The piano uh, looks and, and operates like, like a, a brand new piano or, or really close to it. It'd be, I think you'd have to be a fairly, uh, fairly advanced pianist to be able to recognize the difference between this one and a brand new one. So awesome piano, really happy with how it turned out. Come check it out for yourself and see what you think.